these bitches love so suck Oh, and the no man Fucking with them old boys You gon' get fucked over Worries and robots Yo, what is up guys? Gummy Bear here Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can split clips, delete clips, and upload a clip to YouTube with using the Share Factory app in your PlayStation. Now this app is completely free, so all you have to do is go to your PlayStation Store and download it. Even when you get your PlayStation, it may already be downloaded. I'm not 100% sure. It wasn't downloaded for me, but it was downloaded for some of my friends when they got their PlayStation. But if it's not there, just go and download it. Now, before I do get into this tutorial, if you guys could leave a like, this would be absolutely amazing. It helps me out a ton. And if you also aren't subscribed to the channel, doing that would also be amazing too. So, let's get on to the tutorial. Obviously, you're going to want to have a clip in your PlayStation already to use. And if you don't know how to do that, you just do the share button on your controller. And you either double tap it or hold it depending on what your thing is when you're in a game or something like that and it'll record a clip and then you just do the same exact thing you used to start it to uh, end it and then it should automatically save into your PlayStation everything like that and the way to check is you go to your capture gallery I'm not gonna go into that um, but basically once you do that you're gonna go to share factory and you're gonna open up share factory now share factory is very very easy to use and it actually helps you out a ton if you're just starting off YouTube and everything like that it's really really amazing and I'm so happy that they added this into the PlayStation 4 and uh, it's just really really amazing honestly and it's really helpful to the people that don't have the money to buy the all this equipment for YouTube so once you load it you're gonna wanna go and make sure you're on the videos tab because you're making a video and then these four boxes will come up you're gonna wanna click new project obviously and now it's gonna bring you to a whole bunch of themes now it doesn't matter what you click some of these that I have in here I actually personally downloaded myself um, but like I said it does not matter which theme you click it has nothing to do with the video uh, and stuff like that so I'm just gonna click the Black Ops 3 one that I downloaded now all of these like random screens are gonna pop up it's as you can see it's a black ops 3 screen for me now some of them are gonna have a little check mark at the bottom corner as you can see right there I'm highlighting it uh, in the bottom corner there's like a blue check mark inside a white uh, kinda circle now what you wanna do is the themes that are all like this the ones that look all the same and stuff like that you're gonna wanna go over all of them and click uh, X so then that check mark goes away cuz you do not want those in your video now what you want to do is you're going to want to click any video as you can see these are all my video clips I have so uh, I'm just going to use the old video clip of one of my 1v1 series that I used so what you want to do is you're going to find the clip that you want to use and you're going to click X on it so it has the little check mark at the bottom of the corner so once you click X that means it's selected and then you're going to click square to start the project now here you can either rename the project whatever you want or you can just click continue which I'm just gonna do it doesn't matter whatever one you do and stuff like that so I'm actually gonna quick turn the volume off because I actually talk in this and I don't want that interrupting the actual video um, okay so basically what you want to do is to split a clip uh, down on the bottom you can see it says X and then there's a plus and then there's a square button and then there's like a tool now the X is just so you can add stuff you can add another clip after the fact that you made it you can add screenshots uh, add track to like your voice or if you want to add a face cam I will go over that in a separate video so make sure to subscribe if you want to learn more stuff like that and leave your comment on what type of video you want me to do next um, and stuff like that in share factory but for this video we're going to be showing you guys how to cut and delete things now basically use your analog stick on your controller to scroll through the clip and then go to the parts that you want to cut out so say there's a part right here where I get a double kill so right there all right here so I don't, all right right there right there so say I want to use this part right here where I kill him so what you want to do is say I want it to start right here I want the clip to start right, right exactly here you click square then this menu will come up and then you click split clip you click that and then on the bottom it should show an X and then it should show like a little broken the clip sign and then a trash can stuff like that to split the clip and make that into two so basically this is all one video right now to split a clip means you make it basically make it into two different clips so then you're gonna click X and then click confirm and then as you can see there's a split in between it these are two different videos now so say I don't want this whole entire front part 
of the video, I'm just going to click the square button, which has the trash can beside it, and delete that clip. Now, that whole entire clip right there is gone, and it only starts right here where um, I kill him. Boom. As you can see, I kill him and stuff like that. Say I want it to end right there where I kill him again. So you want to do this. I kill him. Boom. Stop it. And then say I want to split the clip right there. Click X. You do that. And then say I want you know the final the last kill that I get on him right here. So right here we'll split it, split it, delete these clips in between. So as you can see, it's right there. And then right here, if you watch it, it's just me and I kill him. And then go to the final kill cam. Shows the final kill cam. Boom. Shows the leaderboard. And then say I want to stop it right there at the black screen. Click X. Delete. Delete the ending part. And then boom. Here's the video, and then basically that's it. Obviously, you're not gonna want to do it, so that, like there's only 30 seconds. Well, I mean, it depends on what video you're making, but I just did it for example. So that's how you split and delete clips and stuff like that. Now, I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, upload it to YouTube. But before I do that, I do want to say you can only split a um, a certain amount of time. So say you're making like a montage or something. Uh, just an FYI, you cannot just unlimited splits. There is a certain limit. Uh, I actually happened to me when I was making one of my montages. So if you're somebody who's doing like thinks of making a montage, just remember that you only have a certain amount of times that you can split it. It is a decent amount, so you should be fine if you're just making a regular video. Uh, but basically, what you want to do is you're still on this screen where you're splitting and deleting stuff. Just click circle, and then you'll go back to the main thing where you can add stuff and all that. And then what you want to do is click the options button on your controller and then this will come up it will say save project export to gallery generate thumbnail and then it'll, what you want to do is to upload it you're going to want to export to gallery um, and once you click that this is going to appear it's going to say rendering movie please wait and then it'll render the whole entire thing mine's going to take very very short because it's not that long of a video um, but yours may take longer depending on the video the longer the video the longer it takes it's pretty simple to figure out so then once it's done this is gonna pop up it's gonna have Facebook Twitter YouTube daily motion and then it's gonna say share or share later to sh post on YouTube you just have to click share then I'll say please wait Sh this shouldn't take too long I don't actually I'm surprised it's taking this long um, alright so then the fourth options that it showed earlier pop up on here you just want to have the make sure the white box is around YouTube and then click on YouTube and now this is gonna come up now you can trim it don't worry about the trim and then the play don't worry about that either um, and then basically what you want to do is right here's your title you back out and then you title test stream or not stream test video so that's why I'm just going to title it. I'm not actually going to upload this video, obviously. And then there's a description. So say you want a description, be like, uh, I don't know, like, make sure to leave, leave a like. Boom. So that's what I want to say in the description. Say you have something that you said in the video and you want to just put in the description, go ahead. And now privacy. Unlisted basically means they have to add the link in order to uh, actually see it. Public means as soon as it gets done uh, uploading to YouTube, it'll automatically public the video. And then private means that nobody can see it, only you can. Now, if you don't have a computer or anything like that and can't go on to YouTube or anything like that, then I recommend just putting it on public or something like that. But say you want, or you want it on private and you want to add a thumbnail and all that, which you cannot do on the actual PlayStation 4. Like you can't customize one and then add it uh, here. Um, then I would click private if you have like a thumbnail or something and you're able to put it on. Then I would put it on private and then just public it on your computer. But say you can't do it, you want to public it. Now, tags this is very important. Basically, tags are what when somebody searches up a video. So, say somebody searches up um, how to get a better KD in Call of Duty. Um, say you made a video on that, you want to type in how to get a better. Um, KD and Call of Duty and then maybe you want to put like Black Ops 3 because that's a Call of Duty and it's, uh, it basically is just what you want to put in, in there that you think people are going to look up that will make your video pop up earlier and then you can also include your gamer tag you can select players and you can like send them like it'll show when you upload it and it'll send them a message or whatever and then you can post it to Facebook but basically once you're done with this you just click share 
and then it'll be completely fine. I'll go back to Share Factory. You just exit out of Share Factory. I'm not actually going to upload that, uh, and I'm not going to save it either. So that's basically how you upload anything or a YouTube video, and then that's how you split and delete clips in Share Factory. So if this video did help you guys, like I said, make sure to leave a like. It'd be absolutely appreciated. And subscribe for more Share Factory videos and how to edit and stuff like that on Share Factory. If you have any other questions on Share Factory, make sure to leave a like or a comment down in the description or not down in the description, down in the comment section, and I'll make sure to read it. And if it's a video that I can do, I will be glad to make it or a question I can answer, I'll be glad to answer the question. So yeah, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Until the next time, peace. I cannot waste no time, bitch, I'm really grinding If I ever said I love you, I was lying I fuck with you, but you was always like a side bitch Cause I could never put nothing over grinding